everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny and I run a vegan food and travel blog, Time and Love. And today I thought I would share a grocery haul from Trader Joe's. I went and got a couple of things for a couple of recipes that I'm making and a couple of things for dinner that I needed to get. So I thought that I would share with you what I got and some of the new products that I haven't got before. So let's get started. Okay, so here's the first bag. Let's see what I got. I got oh, a can of chickpeas. I think I got two of those, yeah. Oh. And then I got some flour. There's some muffins that I'm gonna be making. Oh, they put this in a little bag separate. But I really needed um dishwasher detergent gel and I got this last time that I was at Trader Joe's and I really liked it. It worked very well with my dishwasher so I needed some of that. And then I've been craving like sparkling carbonated drinks and I've been seeing the spin drift everywhere so I wanted to give it this a try and this is the lemon flavor and it's just um, sparkling water and fresh So I'm excited to give this a try and see how this is. Alright, so that was the first bag. Now I'm for the second bag. Let's see what I got. I got two bags of the organic rice cauliflower. Just to have on hand for a side dish for dinner. Quick and easy lunch. And then I also got almonds and then some golden raisins for a recipe that I'm going to be testing and then oh and then I've been seeing this um vegan kale and cashew and basil pesto everywhere and I haven't tried it yet so I'm excited to give this a try it took me forever to find it actually because I never go into like the the cheese and prepared pesto section so I finally found it and I'm excited to give this a try. I actually think I'm going to make um, a pasta salad for my lunches. I have some banda chickpea pasta which I really like so I thought about adding this to the pasta and I also got um, some arugula and tomatoes which I think will be very good in a pasta salad for a quick and easy lunch. Okay, so this is my last and final bag. Here's the arugula, which I'm going to be using for the pasta salad. I think it'll go well with the, the vegan pesto. And then next I got some of the mini heirloom tomatoes for the pasta salad. Let's see, let's put this over here. Next I got a bunch of bananas. And then I got two heads of organic cauliflower. Actually looked really good. Sometimes the produce at Trader Joe's isn't the best, but it looked really good. And then I got thing of organic lemons. And then see what I got. I got some limes because I always need limes. I use them on like everything. And the single limes looked better at Trader Joe's. The the little regular non-organic limes were too small and really hard and then the organic limes were just way too huge. I mean they were like the size of lemons and that's just not normal. And then I got some of the purple sweet potatoes. I was excited to see these back at Trader Joe's and I have a recipe on my blog for um, purple sweet potato muffins. It's an older recipe. I actually made them when I was living in Mexico City and purple sweet potatoes are very common there. And I've been wanting to reshoot the photos because they are just not the prettiest and shoot a recipe video for the muffins. So I think I'm going to do that. And do you like purple soup potatoes? They're really good. So I'm excited to do that. So that's everything that I got at Trader Joe's. So my total came to $52.33. So that's not too bad for all that I got. I don't do all my... my all, ugh. I don't do all my normal grocery shopping at Trader Joe's. I just get a few things there. I can't get everything 
that I need there. And I still shop a lot at the farmer's market, but these are a few things that I get at Trader Joe's. And if you like to see these type of videos, grocery hauls, products that I'm loving, that I'm trying out for the first time, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye.